So guys, so it took EA all the way to July to give this man a new card, but you know what? I guess better late than never, right? So here we go. 4th of July, Jeremy Langford, 95 overall, dual style, long pass, ground and pound style. And of course, shout out to Che Dizzle and YPS for helping me speed up this review. So here we go. Uh, 6 foot tall, 98 speed, 94 agility, 88 ball carry, 96 juke, 94 truck, 94 carry, 97 excel, and 93 elusiveness. Now on paper, he does not look that great. The only thing that really stand out is his 98 speed and 100 stiff arm. So everything else is just so-so, which is unfortunate. I mean, I guess his 96 juke is okay, but really the speed and stiff arm are the only thing that really stick out for this card. And as you can see here, man, 98 speed is no joke, man. People diving at your feet. You can definitely, uh, definitely like that, just run in a straight line or just stop on a diamond and run around the entire defense. So 98 speed is no joke, as you can see here. When I try to turn him into an elusive back, as you can see here, uh, spinning was a bit tough for some reason. But of course, you know, like I said, it's all about the angle, not so much the timing when it came to spins. And right there, man, that 98 speed. Once he's gone, he's gone. And um, Juking, on the other hand, Juking, he did much, much better, man. I almost was so close to putting this as what he did best. So this is what he did second best, was Juking and make people miss. And once again, right here, man, 98 speed, man. Hit the sideline, try not to go out of bounds, and just run down the sideline for a touchdown, man. Had a lot of success doing that. So anyways, Juking and spinning. If you're going to rely on one of those, I would definitely say lean more on Jugin than spinning with him. When I tried turning him into a power back, had a lot more success than I thought I was going to, especially with trucking, as you can see here. I don't recall his Thanksgiving card being this successful with trucking, but as you can see here, man, we're just plowing through people. Not the best, of course, but definitely better than I thought he was going to. So, And also fell forward more than, than um, usual. And got a lot of these animations just dragging people forward, so always good to see from... Uh, your running back now when it came to breaking tackles unfortunately was not that great at it you know I did not get that many so he's not one of those running backs that's gonna help you along the way with breaking tackles so if you want to be successful with him you're gonna have to earn it every step of the way now running up the middle with Langford was very fun in two different ways number one because he was so good at falling forward you know he definitely did that a lot to get extra yards and this right here 98 speed so if he goes by completely untouched or if he breaks enough tackles you're not going to catch him but like right here fell forward so if you want to run up the middle this is one way to do it you know just lower your shoulders fall forward for a few extra yards and if you're lucky enough and we can zigzag your way through like this you can be you're going to be gone and of course nobody's going to catch you no matter how fast they are 98 speed is just rarely going to get caught in the open field so running up the middle is always a good option with Langford. Now when it came to his hands, had solid uh, hands, you know, did not drop any open passes, but he did drop a few in traffic, so I wouldn't throw too often in traffic with him, just only throw it to him if he's wide open. Now, this right here was very, very nice. I believe he took like a record, like 12 or 13 hit sticks with zero fumble, so regardless whether you, you have ground and pound or not, uh, fumbling with Langford should rarely, if ever, be a problem. Now when it came to his bad plays, as you can see here, what he struggled at the most was of course, like I said earlier, not breaking tackles on his own, whether I ran to the outside or up the middle. So like I said, if you want to be successful with him, you got to earn it every step of the way with Langford. And speaking of earning it, of course, what he did best was the stiff arm, 100 stiff arm, 98 speed, man, you were going to be flying towards your opponents. And of course, don't be surprised if what you get the most are the drags, like these right here. I did get a few bump offs like these, and of course, you know with Langford, he's going to be uh, giving you these, these uh, whipple lashes right here. So stiff farming is definitely the way to go with Langford. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 25000 That sounds like a pretty fair price considering the way that he played. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't think he's a top 5 back. Top 10, absolutely, but not a top 5. Now, on offense, my next review is either going to be Jeremy Hill or Jordan Matthews. I haven't decided yet. I mean, because I do have them both, but I just haven't chosen who to, re who to uh, review first. And, of course, Kiko and Hayden should be coming out later tonight as well. I'll see you boys for those reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you boys later. Peace.